Hi, my name is Ryan Garside. I'm here competing in the Max Grand Prix as a newcomer in 2024. Uh, I'm 33 years old and I'm a motorsport lecturer from Fleetwood. Vlogging whilst we're at the uh, Max Grand Prix. Just some old records and just one out of view. Feel free. Right, Ryan, where are you? First night, you're out tomorrow. Yeah. How are you feeling? Alright, yeah, pretty much pretty much ready to go. Um, just want to get on with it, if I'm honest with you. I've got a newcomer's lap first uh, behind the instructor, then we'll go out on the 600 for senior practice. Uh, I'd like to get two laps in on the 600. Um, come in, swap onto the twin, and then hopefully get a couple of laps in on the twin as well. And just familiarise myself with both bikes. I've not ridden either bike. I've ridden R6s before loads of times. Um, British Super Bikes last year, so that was okay. Uh, so I'm comfortable with the 600. Um, I've never raced a twin. Uh, I've never ridden this one, and it's a bit, a bit of a Franco bike. But um, it's been a lot of work to get them both ready to go off down down Bray Hill. Um, yeah, just see how we get on, I suppose, and just, I'm, I'm going to treat it like I'm going for a ride to the shop, because that's hard if you get it wrong around here, if you, you know, not sick of here, so I'm going to just dawdle around, get used to the track, see how I feel, and then we've got a week's worth of practice before the race is on Saturday and Monday. So, have you been to Elman many times before, are you that, that familiar yeah, with the course, or? Not many, I've been over once or twice as a spectator, um, my dad did the Manx in 1996, so I came over that, but I'm a bit young to remember much of that. Um, I came over twice earlier this year in my car, going round and round, doing laps. Crashed it one of the times I was in, wrote it off on the mountain, but the less said about that the better. Um, no, I think, I think you need to tell us about it, that, what happened. It was a bit wet, a bit wet, and uh, I was I had time to kill before I was due to be here. And uh, yeah, just went for a drive, and went off the, edge of, uh, off the edge of the mountain at the 33rd milestone, singing to Katy Perry. <laughs> <laughs> wasn't wasn't being silly or didn't think I was being silly yeah just turned in and it just whoop, just come round on me and managed to catch the slide but clipped a bank and it snapped the steering so there's nothing I could do about it then no brakes no steering it just went straight off the edge so I was, was alright that stuff happens doesn't it so uh, hopefully that's been crashing for the year out of the way yeah um, yeah I've been around done, done probably about 20 laps in the cars uh, done loads of laps with the instructors in cars, you know, guided laps and telling you where to be, how to attack the course safely. Um, sounds silly, but then a million, probably a million laps on the Xbox, going around and around and around and around playing the game. Uh, I was, I was going to mention that, yeah, actually. Yeah, the online TT thing, then I went in COVID, when COVID spoiled everyone's fun for the year. Uh, that was supposed to replace, it was a bit of fun, but it replaced, you got the podium caps from Dunlop, I won that, so I was... David Tom was third, so that was quite, that was quite cool. So you've been actually in. won a TT, kind of, before. <laughs> if you can call it that, yeah. <laughs> on, a, on a game, it's not real, is it? Um, but it helps with learning where, you know, what corner's next and where you're going. So when I come around in the car, it already feels really familiar. I'm seeing it's like when I get out of the bike and see how much of it looks the same. A lot of it's going to feel different because the game obviously doesn't show you anything about the wind, the bumps, the, uh, the strobing from the sun. Low sun. See what happens. Play it by ear, see what happens. I'm looking forward to it. So, coming in as a newcomer, then, what's the process? In what way? How have you been? Have you, you've been over a couple of times before. What did you do when you were here? Oh, so, when um, I was here, so I was doing laps with the instructors. Um, I entered originally, I wouldn't say by accident, but I, I entered whilst just having a nosy. Then I entered the TT. Got an entry for the TT um, based on my results in BSP last year. And I couldn't get the money or the bikes together fast enough to do that, so I made the decision to do the Manx instead because it gave me three months more time to prep, which has still not been enough, but it is what it is. Whatever state we're in up tomorrow evening, that's the state we're going down, down the hill with. But yeah, ended online, paid me, paid me money, got, you know, rooted around a lot of sponsors, got a lot of sponsors who helped me out massively, piled a load of my own money into it. Um, Hate to add it all up, but I'd estimate I'm probably about 11 grand in. 
that's including you know, buying new levers, new elements, stuff that's all got to be yeah. um, uh, like see approved and whatever, it's all got to be by the book. A uh, lot of money spent on the bikes, obviously, as well. And the ferries, you know, the ferry was nearly 700 quid, estimating probably about 500 quid in fuel, probably about 1500 quid in tyres, depending on the weather, you know. So as far as getting your entries accepted then, you've done a lot of racing before in... Yeah, I've done loads of club racing over the years, haven't I? Um, loads of club racing, doing quite well at it, you know, but mostly winning. Um, good, good club last year, wasn't it? Yeah, the last year we did pretty, pretty super sport. Um, there was no no false hope that we were going to do amazing at that. That was supposed to be a two-year plan. First year to learn, second year to try and get some results. We still did well, finished fifth in the super sport cup. Uh, Second in that, I think we best in that as a race result. And overall, like you know, full super sport, I think the best result was 13th. Um, so I scored genuine super sport points, which was the target at the start of the year. So I was pleased with that. Um, yeah, the results were obviously good enough for these guys to be happy that I can ride a bike at a good enough standard that they can lead me to it and not have to worry about me doing anything silly. Um, they just wanted to make sure I know the course safe enough and they're, they're happy with it. So yeah. So you're a competent rider. For those guys that don't know, then in terms of your ACU license, how what? Do you, yeah, so do you want to run us through that? Yeah, so I started about ten years ago. Uh, in fact, my first full season because I was still in a novice bit. That was 2017. Ten races at ten different, three different circuits on ten different days. Gets you to your clubman. Same again to get to your national. I think you have to be within 110 percent of the winner of those for those races to get to your national. And then once you get your national license, you can apply for your mountain license. Um, which is a similar process. I think, I think it was six within 12 months of the start of the banks. I think off the top of my head, I can't remember. It's written down somewhere. It's online. Um, so n- normal race routine then. What's the plan tomorrow? You're going to be up early or? Come back to me. Probably not. Food. I don't tend to eat much on race days. I'm up. I'm not even racing, and I'm hungry now. <laughs> um, yeah, I'd say I'll just... Quick poo before you go out? Probably. <laughs> a couple of pounds, maybe. Um, Cheapest way to save it you can get. Is, I've got to just keep water in you. Uh, it's just difficult for me to do, because I pretty much live on Coca-Cola and Russell's burgers and pizzas and kebabs. But, um, Shout out to Russell's from Kirkham there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, just, I'm just going to treat it like a normal day. Go out for a ride, enjoy yourself, see where we are, and... Um, Hopefully by the end of the week I'll get on that at the end of the fortnight even. I'll get on that boat going home. I can enjoy myself and anything else is a bonus. Happy days. Well uh, we'll speak to you tomorrow. Cool. Cheers. Cheers.